Maggie Ledoux is the daughter of Lance and Mary Ledoux. She graduates tonight from Nature Coast High School with a grade point average of 4.43. Academic success not only at Nature Coast, but she's also one of a select group of students in our county to graduate from high school, also having obtained an associate's degree from Pascal Hernando Community College. Although Maggie has received offers from numerous institutions, she's chosen to continue her education at the University of North Florida, where she will enter as a junior to pursue a career as a physical therapist. Maggie has also been awarded over $10,000 in scholarships from UNF, Bay News 9, and Coles, just to name a few of the places. <coughs> Although Maggie certainly has excelled in academics, she's also been involved in many different extracurricular activities, such as student government, Beta Club, Phi Theta Kappa, and National Honor Society, serving often in a leadership position in those organizations. In addition to this, Maggie is also a dedicated runner, having participated in cross country and track throughout her high school career. Last fall, Maggie, along with some of her cross-country teammates, completed a half marathon, 13.1 miles. And no doubt a full marathon is somewhere on the horizon. <laughs> Way on the horizon, Maggie says. For the past three years, Maggie's been a member of a class that created, filmed, and produced documentaries chronicling the current situations in conflict areas such as Sudan, Cuba, Burma, and Haiti. Maggie's work was essential to the success of these films, one of which was featured in Tampa Independence Film Festival, and the other which was screened last spring in Tampa at International Refugee Day. Well, it was my responsibility tonight to provide you with this long list of Maggie's impressive accomplishments. I just want you to know that to me, sorry, she's so much more than the sum total of her accomplishments. Maggie's been in my class each and every one of her four years here at Nature Coast. I'm pretty sure there must be an award in that, Maggie, for you. Um, Maggie, you've gone from being a shy and hesitant freshman who found it painful to speak in front of a class of 25 students to a capable and confident young woman who's earned the privilege of speaking to this audience tonight. You've developed into a responsible, accomplished, inspiring leader. I am in awe of your work ethic, your dedication, and your passion. And I want you to know how proud I am of you, and I look forward with anticipation to celebrating the great things you will undoubtedly accomplish in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor to present to you the salutatorian of Nature Coast Technical High School's class of 2011, Maggie Ledoux. introduction and four years of memorable and inspirational experiences that I will carry for the rest of my life. Thank you so much. So on to the main event, welcome family, friends, esteemed faculty, superintendent and school board members, and most importantly, my fellow classmates. I wasn't really sure how to start my speech, not only because I didn't want it to be boring, but I wasn't sure if I'd be able to find the right words for this moment. Right now, I'm sure some of you are feeling nervous, like me. Um, some of you may be excited, and some of you may be sad because you know this, that this moment marks the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. But look back at all the things that you've been through in your life that have led you to this moment. Throughout our lives, we have all experienced loss, heartache, and stress, but we also have moments of happiness, excitement, and pure joy. All of those moments make up your life and have affected the person you are and will become. Our life is a series of images. Those images pass us by like towns on the highway, but sometimes a moment stuns us as it happens. And we know that this instant is more than a fleeting image. We know that this moment, every part of it, will live on forever. This is one of those moments. The feeling you may have in the pit of your stomach, the tears that may come after this is all over, and even the feeling of accomplishment will stay with you forever. So don't be nervous. You all have achieved something great, and just enjoy it, because it's yours. Don't recognize the significant moments of our lives while they're happening. We grow complacent with ideas or things or people and we take them for granted. And it's usually not until that thing is about to be taken away from you that you've realized how wrong you've been, that you realize how much you need it and how much you love it. For some of this, for some of us, this describes high school. Waking up early, school lunches, practices in the hot sun, and piles and piles of homework. 
are all things that made us dread coming to school. But we were all forgetting the most important parts, the fun times we all had with each other. Friday night football games when the lights would shine onto the field and the stands roared with cheers. Walking with your friends to class, talking about how you can't wait for the weekend, and that one person in every class who would just make everyone laugh were just a few simple things some of us took for granted. While we were in high school, we lived each day hoping the next would come faster, just so we could get out of here and be done. We counted down the days that were left until the last day of high school, looking forward to walking out the doors and moving on to better things. We got comfortable with the people in our lives and never really thought that one day all of this would change. At, and now, as we look back on all our high school memories, some of us may wish that time would just stop and you could stay with the people we love forever. But the truth is, life is going to keep going. You just have to ask yourself if you're going with it. After tonight, some of you will go to college, some may go right into the work field, and some may join the armed forces. But no matter what your plan is, it's okay to be unsure of what you want to do with the rest of your life. When we were little, everyone would ask us what we wanted to be when we grew up. We may have had dreams of becoming a fireman, an astronaut, or maybe just a princess. When we got a little older, they asked us again, and we may have changed our minds and decided that we wanted to cure cancer, become a lawyer, or be a teacher. And now, when we finally have grown up, and it's time for us all to decide what we want to be for the rest of our lives, there may be some people who have absolutely no idea what they want to do. And you know what? That's okay. Ms. King, Ms. Kling gave me a quote the other day from Kurt Hahn that I want to make sure all of you get to hear. He says, there is more to us than we know. If we can be made to see it, perhaps for the rest of our lives, we will be unwilling to settle for less. Remember this quote as you think about what you want to do with the rest of your life, because you can do more than you think. So take chances, because in life, our biggest regrets are not for the things we did, but for the things we didn't do. So join five con completely different clubs at college. Talk to someone you n normally wouldn't talk to. Or go backpacking through Europe. Because when you look back at your life, it's better to be happy with what you have done instead of wishing for what could have been. The important thing is not to be bitter over life's disappointments. Learn to let go of the past and recognize that every day won't be sunny. And when you find yourself lost in the darkness and despair, remember it's only in the black of night you see the stars. And those stars will lead you back home. So don't be afraid to make mistakes, to stumble and fall, because most of the time, the greatest rewards come from doing the things that scare you the most. Maybe you'll get everything you wish for. Maybe you'll get more than you could have ever imagined. Who knows where life will take you. So don't be afraid of all the new things are about to happen. Yes, some of your closest friends may be going out of state for college. Some of them might not be going to the same college as you are, and some may be staying here. But you all have your own strengths that will help you with all of the challenges life will throw at you. You may think that there is no possible way that you can survive the problems you will face in life without your friends, but you're wrong. In the words of Christopher Robin, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And always know your family and those close friends will be there for you when and if you fall. But whatever your plan is, remember that it's only when you're tested that you truly discover who you are. And it's only when you're tested that you discover who you can be. The person you want to be does exist, somewhere on the other side of hard work, faith, belief, and beyond the heartache of, and fear of what lies ahead. No matter what path you take and who you take it with, you all are ready. We have all learned more than just math, reading, history, and science from our teachers. They have taught us life lessons that we will remember forever. And we have all had that one teacher that has taught us more about ourselves than any one textbook could teach us about a subject. The Mrs. Klings, Mrs. Shreves, Chef Dees, and Mrs. Ferlitas of the schools that we have been through have taught us more than just their subjects. And that is why we are all ready for whatever will come next in our lives. They made us grow up and taught us how to deal with things on our own. Just keep in mind that things aren't always going to be fair in the real world. That's just the way it is. But for the most part, you get what you give. The rest of your life is being shaped right now with the dreams you chase, the choices you make, and a person you decide to be. The rest of your life is a long time, and the rest of your life starts right now. So congratulations, class of 2011. We made it. Mom. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Stephen Zafer.